<laughs> sorry, sorry guys. Um, hi fellow YouTubers and all the Valentines out there. I just want to wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, I am trying to lose my COVID weight. <laughs> my chocolate covered strawberries turned out good. They're just in the refrigerator chilling. I'll just snap a photo later. They didn't come out as good as I wanted them to be because I was trying to get this um, colored paper, like no colored cellophane. And the day I was at the grocery store buying the strawberries, um, there was a big storm here in Vegas, like a big old whir like whirlwind dirt storm. And the car was like sh shaking when I was in Del Taco parking lot. It was like everything was like crazy. So, like, that's what I had to do. I had to, I was like, well, I had bought a few groceries. I didn't buy all the groceries I wanted to buy. So then I was like, let me just grab some food for me and my roommate. And then I went home, you know, and it just didn't turn out the way I had planned on making, you know, the Valentine's Day chocolates. But I just mixed a bunch of different chocolates in there, dark chocolate. I did um, cookies and cream. Um, so it has like little cookies in there mixed in with the chocolate and then dark chocolate. So it's dark chocolate, milk chocolate with almonds and then the cookies and cream. And um, I just want to say happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> my uh, friend Jazzy, uh, she's so cool. She did my hair and uh, it was just like last minute. I was like, hey, let's do those lemonade braids. So and she's going to get lemonade braids. I. I'm hooking her up with someone that could go to her house because it's hard for her to do her own like that. But I just wanted to um, shout out to all my um, YouTubers that um, I support, like, well, that I, I watch, you know, I'm still learning how to be a good YouTuber and um, I haven't gotten it down pat as far as like getting it monetized or anything because I would like to sell stuff on my channel. Like I want to have my own t-shirt line, but I need someone business minded to go in with me on that. Um, so I'm just waiting um, maybe for my daughter to come back, who's a finance major and I'm gonna talk to her about it, like helping me get my own online products going and getting this uh, YouTube channel more monetized. Like when I do my Bible studies, um, it's Michelle Ramon, Christian counselor, prayer warrior, um, good mom. I miss my kids every holiday, I start crying. Like today I was just crying about my kids and. About other stuff because I heard some bad news today like someone's mom passed away and it's sad you know it like touches home you know because I have kids myself and I can barely see the two twins that I have because we were brutalized in Northern California it's like a real corrupted county and I and I always take time to put them on blast Northern California is like the most corrupted county in the whole world According to the internet, and I've been without my kids for like eight years just for volunteering to take a parenting class that I didn't get to take. And they viciously ripped them from like an emotional needs pet and everything. So I, I always put them on blast. It's like a really dirty county and the police won't uphold the law to nothing. So there's still no justice for a lot of us minorities um, who have been brutalized by cops and sheriffs. They chase my kids with sheriffs right in front of me. And I remember being at this church group just crying my eyes out over what they did, having to see my kids get chased by sheriffs, you know? And I was just like, what the heck? Like, isn't this a bit extreme to barricade the office with crime scene tape? Because they were doing some dirty work for the CPS workers. They conspire with other entities and then they all team up on you. And then I got robbed of over 50 grand of stolen property of our social security estate because my daughter was pending at Sasai and uh, my other daughter was already receiving it, so they wanted the checks, they wanted the double foster care grants, and they also wanted the money that they get for um, putting your kid in a hospital bed. And my kids were fully inspected by police and everything. There was no marks or bruises, so they technically have no jurisdiction over them. And they also conspired with somebody who abused me in the past, who is still an abuser because he tried to sick them on me evilly. And, um, you know, everybody will get their just desserts, but I'm not even worried about it because... You know, God's favor is still on me. I'm a blessed child of God. I know who I am in the Lord. Um, when I'm not partying or running with my friends, I know who I am in the Lord. And he always redeems me back 
and he will always keep, and nothing can separate, nothing can separate um, us from the love of God, not even sin. It says it clear in the Bible, not, not sin, not death, not nothing. So if we were called by God and we're here to do um, something for his kingdom, nothing's going to separate us from his love. You know, so if you love the Lord and you uh, do try to work for his kingdom, um, you know, nothing, nothing will really separate you. It's just you giving up your sins is just sacrificing um, something to God. Just saying, I love you more than I love this sin. I love you more than I love my relationships or my everything, like your kid, everything. You can't love anything more than you love God. He comes first. So um, thank you for joining my channel. I hope you have a blessed day in the Lord and for for Valentine's Day. My roommate's coming out. Okay, have a blessed day. Valentine's Day.